Hi, today's video is all about the present perfect. Now the present perfect is not a monster. The present perfect is the tense that we use when we started something in the past and we have done it up to now. So I can say I have finished my homework. My friend has been to France. The students in my class have finished the project. I am not telling you when they did it. I am not saying the students in my class finished the project yesterday. Then I would use the past simple because we use the past simple when we did something in the past and we did it one time and that time has gone. With regular verbs like play or cook or enjoy, we add ed to the verb to get the past simple, that is the second row of the verb tables, and we also add ed to get the past participle, which is the third row of the verb tables. So the verb is cook. I cook for my friend every day. That is present simple. I cooked for my friend yesterday. That is past simple. I have cooked for my friend. So we put the correct part of the verb have in front of the past participle cooked. I have cooked, you have cooked, but he, she, it has cooked. We have cooked, they have cooked. If we are talking about irregular verbs like the verb go, I go to school every day. This is the present simple. I went to school yesterday, the past simple, and I have gone to school. So I have gone. Gone is the past participle. So we always use the correct part of the verb have in front of the past participle to form the present perfect. We use the present perfect when we are talking about something that we have done in the past up until now. Now the past simple, we did something one time, like I burnt my arm last week. It really hurt. I touched a shelf in the oven and I yelped with pain and I ran to the kitchen sink and I put cold water onto my arm. All of these verbs are past simple because they all describe actions that I did once and that one time has gone. If I am using the present perfect, I can do something more than once. I can say, I have always sat next to my friend in lessons. Here, I am using the word always. Always is an adverb of frequency. That means it is a word that shows us how often we did something. So we can use the present perfect when we have done things in the past up until now and we have done them more than once. Like my friend has often cycled to school with me. She has done it often. She has done it more than once. I am not saying my friend cycled to school with me yesterday. Then I use the past simple because I am talking about one time yesterday and that time has gone. I can also say my children have sometimes cooked for me. This means they have in the past up until now, 
sometimes cooked for me. There are four signal words, never, ever, already, and yet. And with these four signal words, we always have to use the present perfect. So with never, I would say, my friend has never been on a plane. With the word ever, I can only use this in a question. So I can only say, have you ever seen this film? I cannot say, I have ever seen this film. I can say, yes, I have seen this film. We use yet in a question and when we have a negative sentence. So we can say, have you done your homework yet? Or, I have not done my homework yet. I cannot use yet in a positive sentence. I cannot say, I have done my homework yet. Then I would say, I have already done my homework. So with the signal word already, I can say, have you done your homework already? Yes, I have already done my homework. But I cannot use already in a negative sentence. I cannot say I have not already done my homework or I have not done my homework already. Then I would say I have not done my homework yet. So yet and already are tied together a little bit. When I say I have just seen my friend, this just is a non-specific time. You don't know when just was. Maybe just was five minutes ago, or maybe just was an hour ago. So when just is non-specific, when you do not know when just was, then we use the present perfect. I have just seen my friend is the present perfect. If my friend says to me, you look awful today, then I could say, what did you just say? Because then I know when just is and my friend knows when just is because we were both there for just. So if just is a specific time that everybody knows about, then we use the past simple. Most of the time we use the present perfect. The two final signal words are for and since. Now we can use the present perfect with these two words, or we can use the present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous means you start something in the past, you have done it up until now, and you are still doing it. So I can say, I have lived in this house for 10 years. And that is fine. But I am still living in this house. So I could also say, I have been living in this house for 10 years. And the same applies to since. I can say, I have lived in this house since 2010. Or I can say, I have been living in this house since 2010. If we want to say that we have done something up until now, then we use the present perfect. And if we want to say we have done it up until now and we are still doing it, then we use the present perfect continuous. 
However, we cannot use the present perfect continuous if we have a stative verb. There are some verbs that you cannot put ing onto, like no, or like, or hate. These verbs are what we call stative verbs. They mean you either know someone or you don't know them. You either like someone or you don't like them. You either hate something or you don't hate it. You cannot say, I am liking this subject. Some people do, but it is not good English. With for and since, we always use the present perfect. So I can say, I have hated geography since the first year. Or I can say, I have liked Billie Eilish for three years. Or I can say, I have known my best friend since the beginning of secondary school. If we want to make the present perfect negative, we just put not after have or has. So I have not seen that film yet. My friend has not finished her homework yet. To ask a question, we just switch around the subject and the correct part of the verb have. So I have been to France becomes have I been to France. My friend has already seen this film becomes has my friend already seen this film. And that is the present perfect. If we are talking about the past and we have done something once and that time has gone, like I burnt my arm last week, then we use the past simple. If we started something in the past and up until now we have finished it, then we use the present perfect. And we can do it often up until now. I hope you now understand when we use the present perfect. If you want more information about talking about the past, click on this video here. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.